Well, hello, it's Shane Head again for Pop RVs. Coming to you here from beautiful East Texas, the Piney Woods of East Texas in Mount Pleasant, Texas. We've got a cult following type rig in front of you today, guys. We got a 1992 Wander Lodge wide body. Wonderful looking coach. Anybody that knows anything about Wander Lodge knows it's a custom build from Bluebird Bus, a true bus conversion built on one of the world-class chassis ever to be known in the RV industry. So this Wander Lodge uh, is on its third owner that we know of, shows really well for its age. It is a 92 model, uh, powered by the ever popular 8V92 Detroit diesel. That's a V8 diesel, simple mechanical diesel design used for years and over the road in commercial vehicles, 219,000 miles, lots of maintenance history on this vehicle let's get started and show you a really wonderful class a rv so guys again it's a 92 model wonder wonder lodge by bluebird uh beautiful color scheme got all the original owner's manuals build sheets everything available on this coach inside um, from bluebird uh original paint it appears and i'll tell you for a 92 model it really looks good for those that don't know, these were when these were built, there was a uh, product called Emron Paint that was used back in those days. And uh, just a really quality aircraft grade uh, paint that uh, just simply does not fade over time like some uh, traditional finishes do these days. So the exterior still has quite a bit of shine to it. Uh, the graphics still look great on it. Uh, with a, a few places where there's a little bit of sun fade up near the top of the coach and the rear where there's a little bit of the clear coat beginning to come loose. Other than that, everything's in fantastic condition again for its year model. Uh, it does have a front mounted diesel generator. We'll show that to you. Stick around for the very end of the video because we will show the engine and the generator running for you. Uh, couple things to notice uh, we one of the things we try to do here at pop rvs is we try to tell you everything that we know about the coach and one of the first questions we get will be tires these tires look okay but they are older tires so anybody that's getting ready to make a long trip you do need to plan on putting some tires on here this is a tag axle coach um, one of the things that is really popular about this particular model are the wonderful storage options and we're gonna swing a few of those open. This is gonna be a little bit longer video. So if you're not interested in this, just take your finger and move forward. But as we get a close up to the paint, you can see it looks really good. A few places are bubbling underneath here and there, but again, for a 92 model coach, uh, I would call this better than expected condition uh, or normal wear and pair for its age. You do have that heavy duty slide out cargo tray. Of course, you do have a heated basement storage here You've got hydronic heating, so you've got heat in the floors. So really nice modern setup, even though it's a 92 model. And as you'll look inside the hinges here, you don't see any rust anywhere. All the seals and gaskets around the storages look really good. The latch assemblies have a good positive connect to them. We're gonna go ahead and hit a few more of these. I'm doing this one-handed. You've got a rollout tray here where you can mount a toolbox or anything else that you might want. More power outlets, and of course you can still see part of that pass-through storage there on the other side. And as we move on down, something unique that I do want to show you that's not often found. Wonder Lodge back in the day included these Wonder Lodge branded camp chairs that have the Bluebird insignia on them. As you can see, the canvas on these chairs is in really good shape. There's a full set of those that will go with the RV, as well as a nice uh, Bluebird branded porch mat that will go underneath when you have the awnings out. So a nice, nice feature to have that original equipment here with this particular coach. This coach once belonged to a gentleman who was uh, one of the leaders of the Wonder Lodge owner forums, went to all the rallies and events. There's even Wonder Lodge branded clothing inside, Wonder Lodge or Bluebird branded uh, uh, towels inside, which we'll show you. 
You've got a uh, black water flush system. There's your sewage flusher right there. Access to your refrigerator. And again, now this one tire here on the tag axle has one new tire. That Toyo is a new tire. Uh, the gentleman had a tire go bad on his way home from buying this, so he did replace that a year or so ago. Fender wells look really good. Some light scuffs right here. Might fend from that blowout, uh, but that should buff out okay. Uh, looking up at the gaskets around the windows, the beddings and stuff look good. Well, another nice thing to note on the Bluebirds is you have these really nice Bluebird manual awnings over all the windows. So you got some really nice shade. They're really easy to operate. No motors to worry about. Same way for the large overhead shade. Of course, you've got your eight deep cycle house batteries located here with pull-out trays for easy access. Uh, all the terminal leads look good. Don't see any corrosion on those. Good tight fits there. As we move around to the rear of the coach, I got a little direct sunlight here, so you may not can see it. But at the very top here on the rear cap, you can see a little bit of the clear coat scaling up there. Uh, only place there and on the front where it's really showing and around the edge of the top of the roof line. But again, nothing that I would not consider normal wear and tear. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the engine compartment. If I can do this one-handed. So there you go, that Detroit diesel. That's a V8 diesel, unheard of in these days, but a very simple mechanical design, very, very dependable, 219,000 miles. As you can see, the fuel filter was recently changed and they documented that there on the fuel filter. Your cranking batteries are from 2019 and 2018, so relatively newer batteries. Don't see any, any significant oil leaks anywhere back here that I can see from just casually looking. A couple of neat things about the Bluebird is that you do have an oil pump system back here. You've got engine uh, access where you can actually crank the engine from the rear back here. So if you wanna do some maintenance on it, you have access to do that. Another nice industry exclusive that Bluebird made available on these. Really easy to get to. Side cooler, side radiator. So the engine, all the belts, all the things that need to be accessed for normal maintenance are really easy to get to. We'll leave that up for the time being. And as we move over here to the driver's side of the coach and the direct sunlight, you can really see the shine of that exterior. Uh, very impressive. Again, I would call this better expected condition. Uh, being a 92 model coach, it's not perfect. It's got a slight crack in that cap uh, uh, cover right there, but uh, doesn't seem to be causing any issues structurally. Over here on the other side, you've got, of course, your wastewater. Your wastewater and gray, uh, or rather black water and gray water uh, bypasses. Go ahead and show you all these while we're at it. Access for more storage here, electrical grid, your LP line. Water pump system. Of course, I, again, take notice on the interior hinges. There's absolutely no rust anywhere here. This coat has been stored covered most of its life. Even here at the current owner, he has a uh, cover that it can be driven under. A little bit of scaling on the clear coat right here. Again, nothing not to be expected on an older coach. Here's the other side of that pass-through storage from the other side. So you got lots of storage options here. You got access here. You got access to one of your fans, 
you've got your preheat and starter control for your uh, front mounted gen set with 8,940 hours. Guys, a couple things to note about this coach that makes it interesting and really probably makes it a great opportunity for somebody is that this is a coach that has been consistently used and maintained over its lifetime. It has not been sitting and dormant for extended periods of time with 219,000 miles and 8,900 hours on the generator. That tells you it's been used regularly, which is the best thing that can happen for an RV is for regular use. The previous owner that had this uh, was involved in NASCAR and traveled around the country to NASCAR events. So that's, uh, that's really a good thing. Two-piece windshield. Windshield looks to be in good shape. Now we're gonna get to the interior. We'll give you one more shot of the outside before we go in. Guys, with this listing, just like any of our others, if you have questions or you'd like to set up a showing, you got questions on specifics about the coach, feel free to call the number below you see on your screen or you can reach out to me directly, Shane Head. I am the local rep. My phone number is 903-293-3851. Be happy to answer any questions. A couple notes up top. You do have three overhead AC units. So you've got really good control for heating and air. Uh, diamond plate roof on it. Uh, the seller says that the roof is extremely sturdy. You can walk on it with no issues. Uh, something really overall that the Bluebird bus conversions and Wander Lodge was known for was just a sturdy, sturdy chassis build. So uh, these things can really hold up well over time. And, you know, uh, you don't have uh, the typical fading that you see on older coaches like this. Really, really nice setup. So as we go inside, <clears throat> you've got all the original carpet in good shape. You've got the original Bluebird carpet cover with snaps. So that can be taken out to help protect it. Get ready to step into a time capsule. This should really impress you. So as we come into the interior, it's got that classic Wonder Lodge interior uh, with the kind of the ivory colored theme going everywhere as far as the ceiling, the furniture color, even the uh, color keyed carpet that goes with it. But guys, this is the kind of platform if you wanted to come in and do a remodel and really update this thing and make it your own, own uh, you've got a, a sturdy, sturdy platform that's still got years and years of use left in it really lends itself well to, to your own customization. But that being said, there's nothing wrong with the interior currently. It is in great shape for its age. You can tell it's all original by the color scheme and the design style. Another nice thing to like about this unit is there are no slide outs. So there's nothing to worry about in terms of mechanical issues there. Your full floor plan is readily available to you at any point in time. Makes it easy and quick for setups when you come into campsites or if you're out there doing the NASCAR thing on the infield, easy to set up and don't have to worry about your neighbors crowding you with their, with your slide outs. So another nice thing to really think about. As I look at the overhead here, as the interior appears to be in really, really good condition, I don't see any indication, any indication of any type of water intrusion, either on the ceiling or the walls. So obviously things look to be in really good shape. As we move around, I'll go ahead and hit the cockpit area real quick. Anybody that's familiar with Wonder Lodge knows that the cockpit is a busy place to be. Lots of gauges, pretty much every system available at your fingertips. Cold start options. Again, 219,321 miles. Allison automatic transmission. Overhead controls for your AC. By the way, the dash AC does work on this unit. Very unusual. Anybody that looks at these coaches uh, knows that it is very commonplace to find the dash AC no longer operable. And this one does still work. So really good setup. Updated flat screen TV. A lot of unique little things up here in the cockpit. You even have this really keen, really cool steering wheel cover. 
So when you're sitting here and you want to get a quick bite when you're sitting at the rest area, you got you a little tabletop right there ready to go. Pretty cool. We'll go over to a wide angle so that you see a better overall look of the floor plan. So as we look from the front looking rear, of course, you've got your sleeper sofa on your right. You've got your media chair, built-in end table, overhead slanted storage. So you got lots of overhead storage, air vents. Again, as you can see, they've got that carpet cover, which is vinyl to help protect the main walkway here, which transitions into a nice black tile floor in the bathroom and kitchen area. Speaking of the kitchen area, lots of countertop space, premium Korean style countertops. Check out the size of this large residential full-size uh, sink. Got a beautiful bronze kitchen faucet with detachable head and instant hot water system, garbage disposal, You've got a cooktop cover. You've got those two high-speed uh, modern-made gas cooktop. You've got a convection microwave oven. You've got generator access up here, of course. Lots of cabinet storage. You've got your dinette booth. Again, lots of overhead storage there. You've got a Magic Chef stainless steel refrigerator freezer. Plenty of space there freezer on bottom going into the restroom you do have privacy doors dividing the restroom in the master bedroom so you've got these pocket doors here and i'll tell you just opening and closing these doors you can get an idea of the build quality these things are heavy they're not hollow core they're solid bathroom area really nice place to be lots of room in the bathroom all around the head you've got a nice modern looking still bathroom countertop double medicine cabinets Again, Bluebird branding on the towels gives it a kind of a neat feel, real nostalgic. A corner-mounted shower with a decent amount of headroom. It's got a light in the shower as well. Brass with glass door enclosure. Got a nice closet system with sliding doors. Again, <laughs> for a nice touch, there's the Bluebird branded golf shirts that are in here from the previous owner. There is lights in here as well as you can see you got nice drawers on both sides of the closet underneath so lots of lots of garage or garage lots of uh storage available to you in the closet system check out this nice setup right here you've got a combo washer and dryer large overhead storage your dryer vent for opening and closing Really nice for full-time living. Again, you've got these same pocket doors here for the bedroom. And in the bedroom, you've got a nice queen-size bed. Sitting on a large elevated platform. Lots of overhead storage. Redundancy controls for much of the system underneath here. Uh, you've got your generator starter under here as well. So you've got access to all the main controls while in the master bedroom. On the back wall, you've got a uh, another large deep closet <clears throat> access over here to your uh, main fuse box another closet shelving system over here we'll go ahead and squeeze our way over that direction again with no slide outs the bedroom's ready to use at any time and as you can see you've got lots of built-in dresser type drawers we'll go ahead and hit you hit this little closet area for you real quick here built-in nightstands this is a cedar back lined closet and they did wire that if you want to put you your, a new backup monitor in there you've got access to be able to do that hanging rod controls for your wind guard antenna in, in motion satellite system coax controls for all your coax cables rather for all your audio video another nice built-in shelving system here and again you've got access to that main fully bust circuit panel there so guys i mean you can tell by looking in here that the interior is original and the color scheme certainly screams 1992 uh but i gotta be honest with you it really is not a bad look and real classic for that 
nostalgic feel that so many people are after when they're looking at a water lodge. So we'll go ahead and move back forward, look into the master, from the master bedroom into the bathroom. And guys, there's just so many systems on here that I could spend all day showing them to you, but if you're interested, set up a showing, make an offer contingent on your showing and inspection. A couple things I'll show you. All the owner's manuals, spec sheets on the engine and transmission. Again, this is the 8V92A um, with the um, Allison automatic transmission. There's maintenance records in here, owner's manuals, appliance records, owner's manuals. Another bluebird here. You even got your paint codes for this particular bus. So everything's there just waiting for its next adventure. So there you have it guys, a 1992 Wonder Lodge bus conversion by Bluebird, available here at Pop RVs and poprvs.com. Again, call the number on your screen if you have questions or reach out to me directly, Shane Head at 903-293-3851. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Set up a showing if you'd like to make an offer, I can help you with that. Again, stick around for the end of this video. We're going to go ahead and show you the generator running as well as the engine running. Thanks a lot. All right, guys. So I'm out here. Again, you can crank it from the inside or outside, but I want you to be able to hear, hear it running. I'm going to go ahead and crank the generator. It's already been primed. transition and let you hear the engine run. Then we're going to go ahead and open the slide out. Just hold that down until you open it. Thanks for watching.